All right. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Um, is everybody able to hear me clearly? You should be able to see our screen. They, uh, it's going to be our title page for our webinar. Learn how to file your taxes like a boss. So if you guys have any questions or you're having any technical difficulties, you're welcome to enter those in your chat box. We will also have a couple of Q&A sessions later in the webinar, and that is where you guys will enter those questions, and then we can uh, monitor those and get back to you, so make sure that you keep that in mind. And for anyone that's not uh, very familiar with our webinars, I'm Christina. I'm the product manager for UnitWise. UnitWise actually launched in 2009, and it was designed to help directors and consultants grow their businesses. Um, through customer feedback, we've been able to help thousands of directors and consultants grow their business as all of our technology is in-house, so we can really customize it to meet their needs. Now, we want to start with a quote from Albert Einstein, the hardest thing to understand in the world is the income tax, and that just says a lot right there. Um, but today we are here to help make tax season a breeze for you. Uh, we do just want to ask how many of you are prepared for tax season already? Um, are any of you still preparing or have any of you not started? If you'll go ahead and just put where you guys are at in that chat box and we'll just wait a minute for everybody to get their comments in. So it looks like uh, Stacy says that she's almost ready and Jesse plans to get everything together this weekend, um, which, is, which is great. Um, and Anna is not even close. So we are, we're going to have some tips for all of you guys. We actually have a very special guest today to share some tips that will help you avoid the stress and anxiety caused by tax time and file your taxes like a boss. She is very busy this time of year, but she's graciously agreed to join us today. Welcome, Jaricelle, the product manager at Tax Bandit. Thank you so much, Christina. Hello, everyone. Um, as Christina just mentioned, I am here on behalf of Tax Bandit, and we're a cloud-based software solution um, that is really meant to automate your business tax filing needs from one single location. Um, and our heart is to really allow you to remain compliant and focus on what matters most which is, of course, your business. Um, so what we're going to cover today are a few things. We're going to cover assistant filing requirements, as well as the unit-wise report, reports and information, and of course, reports and information needed to file. So if you have an assistant or an employee that you pay to enter invoices and or manage your website, um, or perhaps handle your marketing, um, then you may need to issue them a Form 1089 or W-2. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the 1099 miscellaneous. Um, the 1099 form is meant for independent contractors. Um, and independent contractors are individuals that you hire for specific tasks, um, typically for a short amount of time. So if you have an individual who you pay $600 or more during the course of a year, you will need to file and issue a 1099 miscellaneous form to this vendor um, or contractor. And the deadline for this 1099 miscellaneous is tomorrow, January 31st. Um, so time is of the essence when filing this form. Um, but again, we'll give you a few more options uh, if you're a little late to the game a little later on in the webinar. On the other hand, we do have W-2s, uh, which are filed and distributed for employees. Uh, and so the employees are defined as individuals that work for you on a regular basis. Um, and are not necessarily exclusively um, hired for any one task, but again, are paid more than $600 during the course of a year. Uh, and the deadline for this W-2 form is again January 31st to be filed with the FSA as well as to be distributed with the recipient. Um, a few things have changed with the W-2 um, regarding, again, extensions if you are a little bit behind, but again, I'm giving too much away. We'll cover that in just a sec. Um, so as their employer, you will need to withhold uh, Social Security and Medicare over the course of the previous tax year, and that's what you're really identifying in a W-2 along with the wages that were administered. Um, and so here at Tax Minutes, our goal is to use an easy-to-understand interview-style format um, so that you can get these forms filed without the complicated IRS jargon. We leave all that out for you. 
and I wanted to go ahead and continue the conversation um, by discussing the Form 941. So the Form 941 is the employer's quarterly federal tax return, and it's used to report employment taxes. Uh, so as a small business owner, you are required to file Form 941 four times a year, um, and you're responsible for withholding federal income tax, Social Security tax, and Medicare tax um, for your assistance paycheck. Now, in addition to the 941 form, you may also need to file the Form 940, which is the employer's annual federal un unemployment tax return, or otherwise known as FUDA tax. Um, and as an employer, you must fill out and submit this Form 940 to the IRS annually. I do want to go ahead and take some time to remind you of some of the upcoming deadlines, primarily our deadline for tomorrow, uh, January 31st. We do start off with the W-2 form. Um, we also have the 1099 miscellaneous form that has a January 31st deadline, uh, the 940 form, as well as the 941 fourth quarter. So I did want to now bring up, um, for those of you who might feel a little bit behind the game, um, extension forms. And these are invaluable for this time of year. If you are unable to file your 29 miscellaneous um, by the January 31st deadline, you can apply for an automatic 30-day extension uh, by completing the form 8809 by January 31st. Um, so that's crucial. You that you know that opportunity is there for you, but it has to be done um, by or before the January 31st deadline in order for it to go into effect. However, regarding the W-2, as I mentioned before, it's a little bit trickier. Uh, the IRS does not encourage extensions for W-2s any longer, um, which is why you can no longer e-file for an automatic extension when it comes to W-2. Uh, you now have to paper file and petition for an extension. Um, and the way the IRS is set it up now is that those are only granted in, in extraordinary circumstances. So um, they really are trying to steer people away from seeking those, time, those W-2 extensions. Um, but if anyone has yet to file and needs to do so, um, please do so immediately. And we can go ahead and assist you with any of your filings for your employees and your contractors alike um, on the taxbanics.com website. Um, there we, we provide step-by-step -step instructions um, for filing without the complicated IRS terminology. Um, and we are also IRS authorized, um, and we have a software that can transmit all of your required forms to the IRS and SSN, respectively, uh, as well as send those copies to your recipients. And we'll have all those uh, recipient copies out and printed by the next business day, just to make sure that you are compliant. All right, um, now we have reached one of those Q&A sessions that we mentioned a little bit earlier. If any of you guys have any questions for Jarosel, go ahead and enter those in that chat questions box now, and I'll just go ahead and read those to her and she can, she can answer your questions. All right, um, it looks like Anna would like to know, what tips do you have for someone who's still preparing for tax season, Jarosel? Okay, um, so for those who still prepare for taxes, and I would recommend making sure that all of your account um, expense and income information is up to date. That is definitely um, first and foremost. You also want to have an accurate and up-to-date inventory account. Uh, I know that that can be really stressful, um, even thinking about keeping up with all this information, which is why um, business management tools like UnitWise are so crucial. Um, because I know that as a UnitWise member, you guys have access to tons of account reporting and inventory features um, that are really vital when it comes to filing those tax forms. That is a great answer. Thank you so much for, um, for that suggestion. And it looks like we have another question from Jan, and she would like to know what information she needs to file. Well, um, Thankfully, we at Tax Bandits uh, created a whole webinar dedicated to what is needed to file for the W-2s and 1099. So I would start with um, suggesting that you head on over to the Tax Bandits YouTube channel, and there you'll see uh, the, our most recent webinar really breaks down all the necessary information uh, for filing 1099s and W-2s. But the short answer is you will need, obviously, employer basic details, so that's employer name, um, EIN, employer codes, things of that nature. You'll also need employee basic details, again, name, social security number, um, address, and so forth. And then, of course, wages, um, wages that were administered as well as anything, any wages that were perhaps withheld. 
um, due to federal tax Medicare and, and things of that sort. But if you guys have any questions at all, I have listed my, con uh, my contact information right here on the screen. Um, feel free to give us a call. We'd be happy to answer. We are in full swing uh, as it is the day before the deadline, so we will definitely be on the phone today for extended hours um, you know, to provide as much support as we can for our clients. Um, so please feel free to uh, contact, us, contact us and reach us. Well, thank you so much for all of this valuable information, Jaricel. My pleasure. And as Jaricel did mention, um, UnitWise is here to help you prepare for these deadlines. As you enter your purchase orders, invoices, sales receipts, expenses, and all of that necessary information, UnitWise will automatically track it for you. Now, come tax time, you can quickly and easily access this information within UnitWise. And here you can see the layout of our summary of expenses report um, and all of our, our tax reports. So to demonstrate this just a little bit uh, more fully for you, I'm going to go ahead and go into our UnitWise account. And you can see um, this is just going to be the dashboard of what that's going to look like when you sign in. You'll go to your report section. And year-end tax is a group of reports that we've specifically designed to make this time of year easier for you. Uh, so we'll go ahead and look at that summary of expenses report. And we're just going to go ahead and choose previous calendar year, which will be January 1st, 2017, through December 31st, 2017. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and click Run Report on that now. And you can see this clear table pulls up where you can view all of your expenses for 2017 as well as uh, then broken down by month. So we'll scroll down a little bit here and you can see we've got your expenses for January as well as a total listed below. And you can look at that, uh, that total for those expenses for all 12 months. Um, you can even look at the total for all of your expenses for the full year with this report. We'll just give you another second to look that over and see how clear and, and helpful that's going to be. And at this time, we'll go ahead and answer any questions that you guys may have for me about the UnitWise account, um, about any of your tax information in there. So go ahead and type those in that chat questions box, and I'll be happy to answer those for you. <coughs> Now, it does look like Jenna would like to know how to add an expense in UnitWise. Um, and that is a great question. I'll be happy to show you how to do that. It's really not that difficult. Um, you'll just go to Accounts, Expenses, and Add Expense. It is that simple. Um, here, you'll have a lot of capability to really customize that expense and enter all of your details. So you can choose things like your payment type, uh, what account that payment came from, if you want to enter a reference number, um, as well as, of course, the amount that you would need to enter. You can choose the date, so if you needed to, you can backdate this information. Uh, you'll also choose your payee. So that may be something like AT&T, or uh, maybe it is your landlord, maybe it is Office Depot. Um, and that amount will translate down. Now you can make this expense repeat. So you don't have to keep entering recurring expenses if it's going to be something that you're going to have to deal with every month, like maybe a work cell phone bill, something like that. You can go ahead and choose to make that repeat so you don't have to enter it every month. And uh, from there you'll choose which expense account it goes to. So maybe um, maybe have somebody handling my advertising for me or uh, anything like that. And you even have the option to add a receipt image to this expense. So if you have a paper receipt, you want to make sure you keep track of that information as well, you can add that here. Um, now it looks like we have a couple more questions. Um, Debbie would like to know what the connection uh, between UnitWise and tax standards is. And that is an excellent question, Debbie. We are actually sister products of the same parent company, so we are both products of Span Enterprises. And it looks like 
Sarah would like to know what a payee is. And that's a great question, Sarah. A payee, um, which is who we were going to pay that expense to, is basically um, the individual or entity that is, is collecting the money off that expense. And to add them, you would again just go under your account section, go to payee, create payee, and then you can just add their details. And here is basically their name and their address. And it does look like those questions are slowing down. So if you guys come up with any more, you are welcome to call or email me. Um, you're also welcome to reach out to Jaricel if you have any more questions for her. And as a thank you for being our live viewers today, you will receive a follow-up email that's going to have a special promo code that will give you a free 30-day trial of UnitWise. If you already have UnitWise, Share that promo code with somebody that you think could benefit from this kind of tracking system in their business. Um, it will start to gain you referrals, and you can work toward your 30 days free as well. Uh, so it's going to benefit everybody. Make sure you look for that email. And again, just thank you so much for joining us today. We hope that you enjoyed the webinar, and, uh, and just let us know if you need anything at all. Thank you.